as a creative sort, I understand that sometimes you can write a script or have a concept for a performance that never actually sees the light of day. Well, today was a significant day for a writer called Lady Mary Roth because it was on the 16th of September in 2018 that the first ever production of a comedy play that she had written called Love's Victory was performed at Penshurst Place in Kent. And the performance was significant because she had actually written the play 400 years ago. Now, obviously, Lady Mary was long gone, but the play had been discovered in her writings and it was time for it to be revealed to the public. The play begins with the goddess Venus commanding her son Cupid to cause a group of shepherds and shepherdesses some heartache and suffering for not showing her enough reverence. The play then follows Cupid and how he has affected the various characters by firing his now famous arrows into the lovers. Then, after a series of misunderstandings and deceptions, Venus and Cupid show themselves and reveal their work in achieving what they believe is love's victory. Now, as the story plays out, the characters experience true love, flawed love, chaste love, and comic love. But today, I want to suggest that there is another type of love, agape. And this is God's perfect love for us. And we don't have to be shot with an arrow to experience it. God's love is perfect because it is never ending and all encompassing. This is what a man named Paul wrote. He said, I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today or our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below, indeed nothing in all of creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now that's what I call a perfect love.